Uh, not on triple nine. Nine 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 is uh, police uh, language, police speak, and it's a code which is used as an extreme emergency for officer down or policeman uh, shot. So everyone comes, all the the, the cars and the policemen available rush to the scene to help the colleague and get the cop killer. So this is a, a ploy they plan to use in this film. Uh, they, they want to do two things at the same time. Uh, to kill one policeman that stands in their way, these uh, criminals, some of them policemen themselves, and um, at the same time use the alarm creating and the fact that all the police forces uh, at that scene to do something, uh, use this uh, uh, disturbance, so to say, and do their own thing in another area and take advantage. Um, it's a film with so many uh, big names. Chiwetel uh, Ojiofor, I don't know how, how you read that, the, the, the man who's, who's uh, on the way up. 12 years a slave, he played Okwe, that was the name of, a, of a, an Afghan I had, I love that name, Okwe, in a film taking place in London. Anyway, uh, he, he also uh, played in something recently against, uh, I forgot the name, against uh, Julia Roberts and Nicole Kidman. Um, and here he has the Oscar winner, the recently winner, the recent winner of the Academy Awards for Best Actor, uh, Casey Affleck, who's um, well, it's a good role, he, he plays well, but I couldn't help but think that, well, is this the, the I mean, he's on the, such a, an impressive lineup with uh, Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, and so many more. And, well, I, I'm not sure. Sometimes I think that. Uh, yes, of course, there is a, like a global war for the whole activity. Mary Strip uh, received it this, uh, this year, I mean, late in December 2016, actually. And uh, that's good because it's celebrating all the activity. And it, it's, I, it's unfair. I, I, I remember uh, reading somewhere that at one point, um, Martin Scorsese, uh, even if he had the taxi driver behind him and so many good films, good fellows and so much more, he didn't have an Oscar. While a band called, I don't know, BBG Mafia or whatever, had an Oscar for some songs for the top film. And it's, it's, what are the Academy Awards for, after all? That's what Billy Wilder said when he came out of the, of the ceremony, from the ceremony, uh, wherein his double indemnity considered a classic film noir, one of the best films ever, and has included it on the list of best 100 films, nominated for seven or eight awards, but won nothing. Then, because the studios had another favorite, which is, I don't know the name, it's not Gun with a Wind, anything. It's, it's a film everyone forgot, but at the time, they were betting on this horse. So everyone it was, uh, uh, all those in the payroll of the studio, and there were so many, so many different days then, eh, were supposed to, to vote for the favorite and not double indemnity. Barbara Stanwyck, uh, the, the performance there is considered as one of the best. Time Magazine again has that, and other critics, scholars, one of the best 10 performances ever of a female actor. Returning to this film, it's much of what we already know from so many other detective action crime films with crooked cops, uh, 
getting involved in other things, uh, the Russian mafia, with an interesting bypass to Israel. It seems that this in, in this film, this local mafia, well, I'm, I'm, I, I'm wrong when I say local because it's international already when they have connections in Russia. Uh, one of their leaders is jailed in Russia and they want to get him out. But they use Israeli passports, they use the Israeli connection, they come through that. Some of them may be uh, Russian uh, Jews, but um, I don't know. Uh, they have trucks with the kosher food and so on. And uh, Kate Winslet is the uh, leader in the film, the free one, the, the other one is jailed. And a very tough woman, she gives orders to kill so many, there's also um, a Latino a gang element, they have three heads on a car because they, they beheaded some, some enemies. A lot of violence, a lot of blood, needless to say. And sometimes an interesting plot with good acting from almost all involved. But um, I, for one, think I saw enough of this, I think. It's, if it's not copycat, it's still similar plot.